Throughout history, many nations have aspired to global domination. Among these, Imperial Germany is particularly intriguing. After uniting in the latter half of the 19th century, Germany quickly emerged as a scientific and industrial powerhouse, with imperial ambitions extending far beyond Europe. The unification of Germany in 1871 marked a pivotal moment. Before this, German-speaking regions were fragmented into numerous states and principalities. Otto von Bismarck spearheaded the unification, bringing these entities together under King Wilhelm Best of Prussia. This newly formed German Empire rapidly consolidated power, setting the stage for its later ambitions. Bismarck's policy of real politic emphasized pragmatic interests over ideological concerns. By the early 20th century, Germany had become a major industrial and economic power, boasting the largest economy in continental Europe and a robust military. Germany's economic and military strength fueled its imperial aspirations. On the eve of World War I, Germany's economy was the largest in Europe and the third largest globally. Its advanced production techniques and technological innovations bolstered its economic power, with German scientists winning numerous Nobel Prizes in various fields. Germany's military was equally formidable. Known for its discipline and advanced weaponry, the German army was organized and strategic, capable of challenging established powers. In 1914, European tensions led to World War I. Germany, allied with the Austro-Hungarian Empire, entered the conflict following the assassination of Archduke Franz Ferdinand. Germany's war strategy, the Schlieffen Plan, aimed to secure a swift victory by quickly defeating France before turning to Russia. The Schlieffen Plan envisioned a rapid advance through Belgium and northern France to encircle Paris and force a decisive battle. The plan relied heavily on speed and assumed minimal French resistance and slow Russian mobilization. However, the plan faced numerous challenges. Belgian resistance slowed the German advance, allowing French and British forces to regroup. Logistical issues and communication breakdowns further complicated the offensive. Contrary to expectations, Russian forces mobilized quickly, pressuring Germany's Eastern Front. The Battle of the Marne in September 1914 marked a turning point, halting the German advance and leading to a protracted stalemate. The failure of the Schlieffen Plan meant that Germany faced a prolonged two-front war. In anticipation of a successful Schlieffen Plan, Germany developed the September program, outlining its vision for post-war expansion. The plan included significant territorial gains, such as annexing northern France and integrating Belgium and Luxembourg into the German Empire. Germany also aimed to establish a new economic bloc and enhance its colonial empire in Africa. The failure of the Schlieffen Plan was a significant setback. The unexpected resistance from Belgium, logistical issues, and swift Russian mobilization undermined the German offensive. As the conflict settled into trench warfare, the ambitious goals of the September program became unattainable. Kaiser Wilhelm II harbored grandiose dreams of extending German influence globally, with plans to challenge the United States in the Caribbean, South America, and the Pacific. However, these ambitions were overshadowed by the realities of war and geopolitical dynamics, and Germany's global plans remained largely unrealized. Germany's imperial ambitions were vast, fueled by economic strength, military prowess, and strategic planning. However, strategic miscalculations and unforeseen challenges ultimately led to the collapse of these ambitions.